In this episode, we'll have a look how I transferred this small video from this FM radio to the computer. I was playing around with some software the other day, trying to transfer pictures to the computer by sound. Transferring information by sound is nothing new. Old computers used to store information in tapes. I remember my brother had one of those ZX Spectrum type of computers or clones. And all the games were stored in tapes, even the naughty games. There's actually an application available for Android that can transfer pictures from phone to phone by sound. But that's not what I'm gonna use today. I decided to go for something more traditional, something that people used hundreds of years ago. Okay, not hundreds, hundred for sure, a bit more than that. Welcome to Extreme Morse Coding. I used Morse code to transfer information from the source of sound, in this case it was this FM radio, to the computer. Before transferring that video, I did some tests with pictures to see if it works. And it did. So I decided to try to transfer something a little bit bigger. And when I say a little bit bigger, it's not actually that big. And I'm not talking about whatever. Um, the video is actually only 9 seconds long and it's super compressed. But it's a lot of information in the world of Morse coding. But how can you send information via Morse code? Hex code or hexadecimal numeral system or something like that. I'm not sure what's the real name at the moment. Something like that, yeah. You can convert any file to hex code. And hex code is basically just some symbols. And those symbols can be easily transferred by Morse code. Convert your file to the hex code. Now convert that hex code to an audio Morse code and stick that audio file in something like this. This is actually the car's FM transmitter. Transmitter? Something like that. Um, basically, whatever is played here, you will hear on your FM radio. So it's basically a fake radio station. I wanted to get as close to this experience as possible. And unfortunately, I don't own my own radio station, so I think this should do. But it's not all that easy. That 9 second video, as I mentioned before, is super compressed, but it still took me lots of time to transfer it to the computer. Can you guess how long did it take me to transfer this little video to the computer by Morse code? Guess, I'll give you an answer in 5 seconds. Yes? Ready? Sure? Sure you know the answer? Huh? 28 hours. So, did it work? Oh yeah! Well, actually I had a small problem, but it's nothing big, as I said. I lost a part of the video. I'm not sure why, I think maybe this cheap FM transmitter let me down or maybe there was some other problem. I'm not sure what it was, I didn't want to do that test again, 28 hours is kind of on the long side, uh, not a big deal. I still got the, the, the biggest part of the video transferred and I see it does work. You know, with, with some more tests, I'm sure I could get it perfect, but well, I don't need it.
And that's how you transfer video or any other file. Yes, 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 probably it's not the best way to transfer the files. But you have to admit it, it's cool. Is there a future for sound file transferring technology? What do you think? All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Imagine sending porn with Morse code. Oh yeah, this is good. Well, it's actually not that bad if you're desperate. It took me, what, 28 hours to transfer 10 seconds of video. So it's like 12 hours for 5 seconds. It's enough for me.